just got done swathing or uh, combining the peas and we went to pull this swather out and found that this back tire was flat. So I thought I'd come out here and show a little video of maybe somebody else has got a better way to do this, but there's really no good place to jack this thing up. So we kind of uh, came up with this little angle block under that arm and then bottle jacked it with cribbing so I could get the tire off. And then, because uh, I was concerned about it tipping, I put a jack stand under this end. Um, go up and show you what we've got. We've got 400 odd bushels of peas, so what is that? 22, 23,000 pounds of peas. That, as far as I know, is destined for the feed grade market. I'll take a sample in tomorrow to the local elevator and see what the moisture is. And there's such a small quantity in this uh, gravity box seed tender that what I'm going to do is just use a screw in auger. And there's also a little bit still in the combine. This, is, uh, this thing is full. Let's see if I can climb up here with one hand. Maybe I can. I don't know, what do you think? If I fall down, I'll make a great video. <clears throat> I wanted to show you inside. That's what these look like. They're really clean, I want to say sample, but yeah, there's some... God, I thought that was deer crap, but I don't think it is. Something smell like anything. It's really dry. It's lightweight. But those little green things are not peas. They are some kind of a, it's a weed seed. I've had them in my beans before. It'll come to me after the video's over. They are um, almost the same size as the pea or the soybean in the other case. And the density, the weight is about the same, so they're really hard to get out. Maybe if you had a color sorter, you could do it. But that's, uh, I don't know, it take me an hour, hour and a half to combine that, that amount. So we'll uh, get these dried down, and then once we know where they're going, in terms of the buyer, um, we'll use this little unloading auger on the side of this thing to dump them in the uh, grain truck that grain truck will hold 600 bushels and we you know this is a 385 bushel tender so I think we're right about that maybe 400 I wasn't sure how there's still some in the combine like I said but uh, the beans out there look really good but uh, based on this experiment I think peas are gonna fit I, I like having them as a possibility, they're easier to grow, or at least this little 15 acres, or there's really only 10 acres that produce anything, but <clears throat> they're easier to grow. I don't have to row cultivate them. I can harvest them in midsummer instead of October 1st when sometimes the weather is dicey. The price is almost the same. Um, and it gives me a tiny window to put a cover crop in afterwards. So they, you know, they check off a lot of boxes. And then if it's too wet in the spring to uh, get the peas in, you can still maybe return the seeds for a credit and buy soybeans because the soybeans would go in three weeks later. But uh, the fertility requirements, I believe, are about the same for the peas and the soybeans. Anyway, that's the view from here on the back of this uh, seed tender. Thanks for watching.